Hello everybody, my name is Sharon Forrester and welcome back to my channel. Um, for this video, I am going to be typing in the rest of the Lolita chapter that I talked about in a different video. I did type in the first paragraph because I was talking about the process of what to do when you put in a deleted scene, but now I'm going to type in the rest of it so you guys will see the whole thing of when I'm typing and editing at the same time and you can have a little bit of ASMR if you're into that. But that's basically how I'm going to go with this. I have a pen to kind of help me mark where I'm at so that I don't lose myself when I'm trying to put the pages in. And then I have this cute little bunny named Cinnamon. Say hello. And this little bunny is what I hold on to myself, onto my hand. That way I don't play with my hair because it's something that happens. So with that, we can go onto the computer and begin. Now, I'm going to be reading to you guys the first paragraph so you know where we're at. It's called Two Questionings in a Military Base. This is based back on my characters who were going to um, get taken by the military because they kind of wrecked everything while they were on Earth and then they decided that they were going to question them and not allow anthropomorphic animals in the cartoon book anymore but i decided to go a different direction and bring that idea later so this is a chapter that i am going to be putting aside for now and then come back to that later i just have to put it in wherever these men were taking us the place wasn't that far away but the place was indeed a secret base or something i couldn't really make out where we were Halfway to the building, the men came out and covered our windows with black blankets so that we weren't able to see where we were going. The men grabbed us, with a better grip this time, and took us to an empty room once the trucks had come to a stop. All around me, I saw many men wearing the same uniforms with the same scary weapons. I hope they didn't take out on us. Loino, better not turn into a brat with these people. The empty room we were put in wasn't exactly empty. I mean, it's empty of people, but that... What I meant is there was nothing but a big table with chairs around it. Lono and I sat together on the right side of the table. The two men that had grabbed us came in with their leader. Or at least I think the man with them was their leader. Greetings, dogs, said the leader, sitting across from us. The other men sat on either side of him, watching us. And I put watching this closely because it just fit better. So, to continue on, the person will then say, well, what do you want from us? I said in a low, scared voice. Put that in there. Mm. Answers to why you've been trashing all of Sunshine Town. Mm. Why are you mm, trashing? Lionel and I look at each other. So it was the complaining people that called these guys. That means that Rainy had nothing to do with this. Yay! Another fun fact. I decided to have a different character rat them out when it comes to them making a mess or getting revenge because they were sent to the pound because they're minors and unsupervised that's basically how the world works they won't let any outsiders go in there without them we didn't trash the town mm. Loyal lied he was being strong on the outside but I knew he was as scared as I was on the inside 
I gave him a piercing glare. If he kept lying like that, he was going to get us in huge trouble. I turned to the man and sighed miserably. Sir, we technically did trash the town. Oxoth. I glared at Loino again. I'm going to put my brother instead. My, I glared at my brother again. You can't lie to these people, Loino. What's the matter with you? Luna was about to fight back and deny the information I gave the leader. But the leader let out an angry ahem. And we looked at him silently. He leaned over the table to us, towards us, and clasped his hands. Fixed some errors. Because I couldn't see the whole thing. Huge trouble, not you. <laughs> oh, missed the letter there. Let's see what the back is. Together, I knew it. Called it. Sim, leave it. No. Off. Sorry, my dog again. You were both in on the action. Many people told us about you two. A lot, a lot of them spied on you. Pfft. Those freaks don't know anything. Oh, and I have been typing in adult. Let's try that again. That is why it's always good to look at this now. You were both in... No. In... On the action. Hi, baby. Many people told us about you two. A lot of them spied on you. Those freaks don't know anything about us. Loino slumped back in his chair. On his chair. Let's fix that. On his chair. With his arms crossed over his chest like a rebel. Cool. Hmm. They mentioned one of the two dogs was a naggy little brat named Loino. I'm guessing that's you. Loino widened his eyes. Those stalkers! Is Oxox your twin brother? Yes. Instead of cousin, because I had them to be cousins at first. Okay. The man paused. The other two men 
Let's try a different paragraph on that one. The other two men got up from their chairs and started circling the tape. They kept a sharp eye on me and Lionel in case we tried anything. Funny. With them. The man spoke again. Let's try it different. The man spoke again. Why did you guys trash the town? I've been told by that big mouth reindeer that you folks are from space. So here they don't know anything about the anthropomorphic animals, but I changed that up and they actually do know about the animals. So I'm gonna add the man gave us a weird look. I'm gonna say circled the table instead of started. I'm trying to do that show and tell or non-passive voice or whatnot. The man gave us a weird look. I'm going back to that now. It was rather unusual for him out of the blue to be told that two dogs am I doing that right? yeah came down to Florida from outer space nope, let's try that and I'm guessing you're from that space station that's out there. So yes, they do have a societal space station that they lived in and endured, you know, luxuries. And on Earth, they have to fend for themselves, so it's a lot different. Hmm. Look, old man, it's none of your business. Business, not whatever the heck I typed here, business. Where we come from. Oh, yeah. So you better be careful with what you say. Lionel Threaten. He's savage, isn't he? I added a little note here, or what? Oh, I spelled threaten wrong, let's fix that. Boop, okay. Or what? Or you're going to see what I'm made of. Oh my gosh! Now this is the brother's thoughts, right? I can't believe he said that to a military, a military man. I was ready to push him down to the floor. That's how angry I was with him. Hmm. The man wandering the room paused with shock. Their facial expressions matched my own shock. Oh, let's fix this. The man wandering is separate. Shocked face. There we go. I added that in there because I forgot to talk about that. 
Mm. Man. The man looking upon us. I feel like I need to fix that. Stare that Lionel with a devilish. No. With a devious look. Wait a second. Did he just say he talked to a reindeer? You know Rainy? I suddenly asked. Ass, not assled. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> In surprise. The man didn't listen to me. No one in this room listened to me. No one in this room did. Okay, go over there. My doggies. They were too focused and loyal's smart mouth comments. They wouldn't let me change the subject. People always focused on the bad. On the bad things that happen. Why can't why can't they ever focus on the good things for once? See, and I changed it up and focus on the good things. Hmm. Question mark. Focus instead of focus. It's like when you take stacks of cash and buy something. Hmm. I kind of know. I want to know how what I'm going with this. Something you don't need, but you hit the lottery. Why would someone focus on the fact that? The person spent all the money they originally had, but are not the least bit concerned. Oh, happy. Aren't the least bit happy that they've won the lottery. That doesn't even makes sense. Honestly, I'm not even sure if it makes sense, but we're off to the next page here. <laughs> you know, you are really starting to irritate me. I knew it. Oh, and I'm adding this in there because it's in the notes. You better watch your mouth. The man told Loino with piercing glare and a frown. Oh, fixing that. Loino stuck his tongue out at him. Not caring one bit. And I'm going to add what he had to say. And you really don't want to do that. Well, let's fix that. Want to do that. One of his men 
hold him bitterly in his ear, which made him hesitate and flinch a little in his chair. He glanced, he glanced my way and gave me mm, a look to make sure that I got the message. I nodded in response to let him know that I did. What message? <laughs> I looked at the leader. Oh, misspelled leader like three times. Of this whole operation. Hmm. Listen, sir. We did trash Sunshine Town. But we didn't mean to. We were very hyper on Blast. Blast is the name of the soda drink that they're drinking. Oh, and he got interrupted there. Blast. He interrupted. Those things could kill you, kid. Now, originally they were energy drinks to be kind of like a joke on getting drunk, but I decided to do the sugar high because they never had soda before because they were always on a healthy diet with no sugar and things like that. Hmm. But now it's just regular old soda. I know. We thought it was soda. <laughs> See? We didn't, we didn't think straight. We don't even remember. Did I spell remember correctly? Yes. Okay, we didn't even remember. What happened or what we did during those days. We're really sorry. I hope that you and your citizens will forgive us. Hmm. The next move coming from the leader was very surprising. I'm trying to spell surprising correctly. There you go. It's very surprising to me. Okie dokie. Why not sat up? suspiciously thinking this whole thing was a setup what you're not going to punish us or kill us you're not gonna punish or kill us I should say I stared at the man I'm gonna put the nameless man. I don't know if that works, but. Yeah, I stared at the man whose name I have yet to know. Sounds better, right? Back off. I love you guys, but you guys gotta go. My doggies. Stop it, Sam. I'm filming. Hmm. Uh-oh. I lost my place. Let's do this. Uh. What? Oh, space. And what? No. The man left. Shh. Just because I'm in the military doesn't mean that I'm a hard-headed person. What does this mean? Cold, 
cold-hearted person. Oh, that sounds better. Cold-hearted person. There you go. Look, boys. It's okay. You were being honest. And that's all that matters. You guys don't look like a bunch of, like a bunch of criminals to me. So does that mean we can go? I started, I asked as kindly as I could. My eyes brighten with hope. We were ready to leap off our seats and run out. Oh, I scratched it out, but it looks like that works. But sadly, that couldn't happen because of the next thing the man said. Uh, no. Lino and I were found bewildered. No, Lino and I found ourselves bewildered by the guy. Here we go. Oh, what did I do? Look, I would love to let you leave, but sadly, according to the rules, I cannot. You're both stuck here for the damages you caused. Let's go to the back of this page. What? Caps. Loyal screamed. Angered. I made a sad expression. Feeling hopeless. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm sorry, but those are the rules. Hmm. Oh, I added a little note right there with Oxox Ox talking, so I'm gonna add that in there. How can we redeem ourselves? Oh, come on. Oh, I asked. Let me put that in there. Oh, come on. I'm gonna put my brother wine because it doesn't look like it. There's anything in there to indicate it. Let's see. You can't keep us here forever. Oh. I want to go home now. Oh. Okay. This is a waste of time. Hmm. Loino stood up and punched the table, but he was stopped short oh, by one of the guards that were circling the room they had stopped a while ago and they were now and they were now sitting near us Loina looked at the man touching his shoulder he could see in his expression that he wanted to sit down 
he made life easy for us at the moment and sat down. Look, the leader said. Hmm, it seems like I ought to start counting how many times he says that word. I added that in there because I thought it was interesting. You can go home if you contact your guardian. Period. He or she will need to sign some papers. But if you don't have a parent or guardian to come get you, I'm afraid you're stuck with us. What a mess! I can't believe we were stuck in a military base. I hope that I did this correctly. There we go. Oh, well, I gotta put the comma there. Well, apostrophe really. <laughs> hmm, what a mess. Can't believe we were stuck in a military base. Uh oh. Okay, Earth has brought us nothing but trouble since we got here. If Lionel didn't tick Zero off, Zero is their um, adopted mother. This wouldn't have happened. But it did happen. Hmm. He's always complaining and nagging about Earth being a horrible place. Okay, well, bad secretary here. There we go. And then did happen horrible hmm but he needs to put a sock in it <laughs> I like that but he needed to put a sock in it Because he was the one that got us into this mess in the first place. However, this type of problem wouldn't oh, have been so hard if he hadn't her rainy he'd answer the phone if we called him well if he was with us I'm sure he would have been taken away by these people he could have gotten us out of here too. I'm gonna add that in there. Luna groaned. Someone wants to see you, Oxox. And Luna. The man, the man what in front of us said, Who? Luno asked. We recently got a new member of this base. What is that? 
<laughs> in this space. Not case. <laughs> and he says he knows you. Can't wait to see you. We'll go get him now. Man, my leg is falling asleep. The man walked out the room. Oh. Leaving us alone with his cards. I'm going to add that in there because that wasn't in there. Hmm. Yeah, Luna and I were silent for a moment. And then I turned to him. Who do you think it is? Who knows? Probably some big guy we thought was dead. Well, that page can go out of there. Oh, computer froze for a second. There we go. Let's get that out of there. Hmm. I giggled. As we waited, we started messing around. As to who the person could possibly be. Did I write that as to who the person could possibly be? At first, we thought it would be Rachel and Tycho, two girls, human girls, since they're Since there are guards everywhere, they go. But the men mentioned. Darn it, I can't type today. That this particular person was a male. For he called him. A he. That's when someone else popped into our heads. What if? No, more like what if? What if it was rainy? I argued with Loino that the thought was just plain ridiculous. Hi baby, say hello to the camera for me. Cute girl. All right. We stopped our foolishness. Where am I? Foolishness. Right away when we heard someone walk in. He was wearing a black collar, a black cape, and a black eye patch that let's go back in there nope okay that was wrapped around his head like a pirate <laughs> it was Grumpy. 
Our space station's old criminal. In parentheses. When I say old, I mean someone we knew for a long time. Not that he was actually old. Scrumpy? Now this is a character that I had deleted when the book continued and might bring back later. Hmm. Hmm. Loinol and I exclaimed at the same time. Hello, boys. Did you miss me? Grumpy gave us a grim smile. I know you probably thought I was dead, but I've been here the entire time. Wait a minute. You're a criminal. Why would you be rescued? Because I'm still, not just, because I'm still a person. Jeez, Loinal. You act like people still execute. They do. I know they do somewhere. At least I know Zero does. <laughs> Scrumpy crossed his arms. That's no surprise. She totally failed with me in his scenes. Like she failed with you too. You also. She didn't try to execute us. We were banished. I informed him. You were? Sc Scrumpy laughed. <laughs> what for? Fighting. Lionel crossed his arms to match the body language the little chihuahua was demonstrating I kind of added that little part because I forgot to mention that he's a chihuahua so something I could edit way later hmm. did I end that sentence? yeah he looked away He acted like this was embarrassing to talk about. Yup. That's her, all right. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna add something else here. The Chihuahua said. Nodding slowly. Oh my gosh, these papers are being dumb. And having a 10 second blackout. I mumbled. Luna glared at me. Don't tell him that. You guys were you guys knocked out the electricity at the space station? Can't talk now. <laughs> that is the most priceless thing I've ever heard.
Hmm. Only for 10 seconds. I'm gonna add that in there. I said, trying to justify our mistake. Luno ignored, yeah, his comment. How were you able to be a part of this joint? And 202. Let's see. I forgot the same, the same body language. Ignored. Not signed. Ignored. Of this joint. There we go. We're back in order. Scrumpy made a look. You don't need to know that. Isn't this place great? After long years of wandering around, I found this place. I'm gonna add Did I spell and correctly? Yeah. And now I call it my home. I'm adding that. We were so surprised to find ourselves with an old criminal on the space station. It was insane. Lono and I were surprised that we didn't Okay, I'm gonna fix this. We're so surprised. I misspelled something here. Get out of there. That we didn't even answer him. Scrumpy knew this too. Scrumpy, not scrump T. Yeah. Need this too. So how does that help him? Mm. So he was totally... So he was totally okay with us... Going through a stunned silence. I was trying to figure out how to fix that sentence there. Being silent. Ugh. But he stared at us for us for, for, for let's see the duration of that silent moment we're having. It was starting to get really creepy. I'm gonna put a little, I think. A little creepy. Let me fix this. There we go. He almost looked like he was... He almost looked like he was... Deep in thought. To kill, plotting to kill us or something, probably. I'm just gonna take away that comma there. Hmm. I finally broke the silence. Curious to know why he stared at us the way. Oh, huh? the, the way he did. What? Hmm. You guys, you guys have really grown. 
I still remember when you were infants. You were so cute. All right. So I guess they, he really is old Chihuahua, so I'm just going to have to fix that up right now. Where is that paragraph? Got to go back here. Um, let's see. I can't even remember where it's at now. Okay, let me see. Oh, I found it. Okay, so now I'm just going to go here and delete that. Oh, I guess I should mention his age, but that's for another time. You're so cute. All right, let's see where did I continue. I need that red pen again. Okay. Oh, here it is, where it says Casper. That's supposed to be a different character in the book, but I'm just going to switch that out later. Hmm. You were crying all the time. Hmm. You were crying all the time and Luna was arguing with Zero all the time. About his mother, as per usual. I made him more whiny about his mother, but not now. <laughs> I want him to be stronger than that, just... Hmm. Oh, I forgot the S on his. There we go. Okay. Let's see. What did I write here? We've really missed you guys. Oh, I've really missed you guys. Oh, let me add that in there. Hmm. I've really missed you guys. I wish... I was more present. You know. Visited more. I don't know if he lived here or what. Hmm. Okay. Ignore because that's... That's um, what a character is saying. So if he speaks a certain way, then you want to keep it that way, okay? You don't have to edit the way characters talk. That's totally different when it comes to the construction of grammar. And you were trying to destroy the space station. I added with a frown. Remembering things myself. Yep. Good old times. I hate that cat so much. Hate is such a cruel word. Cyril is the woman who raised you. So what? Doesn't make doesn't make me hate her any less. Because she's a cat. No, because she's annoying. You really haven't changed, have you? He hasn't. Lena was assured. Looking down with a bored expression. Right. But you have. My voice sounded low. And hesitant. I'm just going to add that in there. What happened to your eye? Loino, noticing the patch for the first time, looked at the skin and bones. Chihuahua, Chihuahua. <laughs> you don't need to know that. Oh, well, let's fix that grammar here. 
Always got to put the apostrophe in. Oh, I misspelled something. There we go. A few clicks and it's all ready to go. I'm using Google Docs in case you're wondering. He paused. Oh, am I typing that right? Nope, look at that. Okay. You know, you know what's rich? The rumors going around that you're trying to destroy Sunshine Town, Florida. He laughed. Are you guys... Are you guys turning into a bunch of criminals like your mamas now? Okay, I'm gonna just put mama instead of mamas because, you know, they are brothers, not cousins. Lino and I looked at him with utter surprise. I don't know why, but that's the way they did. All right, now I'm down to my last page. One, two, three, and four. Ooh, I can't really see, so I'm just gonna put pop this up right here in the back. Okay. <laughs> How do you know about that? He's all nervous. I whispered. Duh, Risp Zero used to talk about it a lot. Oh, what am I typing now? When we were still friends. Oh, when we were still friends. Anyways, hmm. before you turned evil, oh, I'm going to put a comma instead of a period because that's how you talk. When I muttered. Hmm. Scrumpy grinned evilly. Yep, yep. Oh, I misspelled grin. Two ones, not one. I know how to spell grin, I promise. Listen. Wise guy. None of that stuff is true. It's all a setup. Scrumpy snickered at him. If you say so. Hmm. You're going to keep us trapped in this joint we call a guardian, aren't you? Tuck that in there. Gotta follow the rules, kid. Oh. Your got or not got. Let's fix that. Rules has an L in it. Um, but you're here. But you're here. And zeros in space. And I know she's not coming down here to get you. So. I guess you're pretty much trapped here. So I guess you're pretty much trapped here. For life. Period. Scrumpy smirked. No! I exclaimed.
Scrumpy, I need to... Scrumpy, let his arms drop. Let his arms drop from being crossed over his chest. Because I put that in there and it's a separate little thing on its own. We have a new guardian now. Well, I continued. I should put that. I continue, not we. Did I spell that right? Yeah. A careless, stupid, comma, careless, stupid guardian. Line over marked. Interrupting me. I gave him glare for that one. Then look that scrumpy with a calmer expression. He's a great guardian. His name is Rainy the Reindeer. Scrumpy looks surprised. That reindeer is your new guardian? He, he's the one that adopted them. Oh, interrupting me is wrong. There we go. Oh, then looked. There we go. Hmm. Loino looked up from being distracted. You know him? Sorta. I met him a while ago. Lono and I stood from our chairs. A while ago? Where is he now? I asked, frantically, somewhere in this building. If you go to the next room and wait, I'll get him for you. Scrumpy pointed at the back door behind him, which was opposite from the door we entered through. Luna and I were so relieved that Rainy was here. We just couldn't believe it. We were so desperate to go through that door and hug Rainy, demanding where he had been this entire time is probably what's going to happen here. Oh, there you go. Yep, this whole time. I almost got it. This whole time. Hmm. There we go. I was about to make a run for it until Loinal stopped me to ask Grumpy a question he wanted me to hear. Did that stupid reindeer ever tell you anything? Oh. Anything good about us? Scrumpy shook his head with a suspicious look. Not that I know of. He watched as Loino 
started heading towards the oh towards the door taking me along with him after a second he followed us wrapped his cape around himself nope wrapping his cape around himself And some wrapping. Let's fix that. I was fixing a few little errors here and there. Boop, boop, pop. Okay. I scoffed. Luna was making it really hard to make Rainy look. I'm going to look innocent, but look like the innocent reindeer he actually was. He actually is. I just couldn't understand why he would always make him look guilty. We were on the other side of the door when I said, Loina, I know this seems bad. But maybe it's not what it looks like. Okay, let me put that as a new paragraph here. We were on the other side because it's a new action coming in for a new setup scene. Hmm. And the finale. It's always what it looks like. Ox, ox. I'm just going to put hugs and kisses there. Because that's actually his name. It's just that. It's more personal when he talks to him sometimes. So he turned to look at me. It was Rainy who, not that. Rainy who called, because it's a person, these people on us. Not a bunch of crybaby humans. Not a bunch cry baby humans all right and that my friend is how i finished up the deleted scene so if you've gone this far on it and thank you so much for watching and i hope that i'll see you guys next time goodbye oh, say bye cinnamon i didn't need you today but i might later there you go